meals is going to be stuffed peppers, the sausages, vegetables, and beautiful herbs. This recipe is our family recipe, and you're going to enjoy this recipe with your family. It's very tasty, delicious, and it's going to be amazing. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Let's start. Guys, now I'm going to show you how to make those beautiful, amazing stuffed peppers. Okay, so how are we going to start? I'm using um, sausages. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, it's about 12 sausages. I'm going to make a lot. We love it. It's, I'm going to uh, squeeze um, the meat out of the sausage uh, casing. Like this. Okay. Guys, I'm using ground, uh, I'm using sausages, but you can use ground chicken, ground beef, ground um, lamb, any, any meat you like. So, as I mentioned, so this is about, um, I would say, two and a half pounds of um, meat. Okay, two and a half pounds. So, I wash my hands. I'm going to put it away for now, and we will get back later on. Now we're going to prepare our vegetables because, as I mentioned, those peppers is going to be stuffed up with meat and vegetables. And so, for two and a half pounds of meat, so we need four um, carrots, right? So we're going to use four carrots, onion, and um, a parsley, and herbs. And I will show you. So I will tell you what we're going to do. So two carrots, so we're going to grate them. All carrots, four carrots, we're going to grate. And we're going to cut our onion, okay? And I will show you what we're going to do. So let's start with grating our carrots. Four carrots for two and a half pounds of meat. Okay, so we're going to grate all four. Okay guys, so our carrots are ready, okay? And now we need onion, okay? So we are going to cut onion. I like small pieces. Guys, I'm crying from onion. When you cut your onion, you cry. So I have a little bit of tears in my eyes. So I want to give you a tip. Before you cut the onion, Put in the cold water and you won't be crying, okay? So now we have to cut um, uh, parsley, okay? So preparation. Cut in the parsley. So carrots, onion, parsley, okay? If, you, um, if you're vegetarian and you don't eat meat, so you don't need to, don't use meat, you can just use rice. Um, that's where we're going to use rice too. So you're going to use rice, uh, carrots, uh, onion, parsley, and any vegetables you want. That is just the same idea, okay? Guys, now I'm taking you to the store, okay? So uh, what we're going to do, we're taking our pan, we put a little bit of olive oil, I would say, I don't know, three tablespoons. I will show you how much. I always do things by eye, I never measure. Okay, so it's just, um, I would say, three tablespoons, okay? So, it's a herb. Okay, so onion, okay? The onion goes in. So what we have to do, we are not really going to cook onion a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit saute with the, um, with the olive oil. That's amazing recipe. You guys, when you, if you're watching my video now, just please try this recipe. It's absolutely delicious, so tasty, very enjoyable, and uh, you would love it. Okay, so onion with olive oil. Okay. 
mocha. Just a little bit for a couple of minutes. So I want you guys to look at the onion, guys. It's not cooked yet. It's not cooked. It's just a little bit we sauteed with the olive oil. Just for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to add the um, carrots. Um, I would say not everything, maybe just leave um, a little bit like, like let's say you put three carrots, carrots here, just this is one carrot. So one carrot, just put aside. We will put it later on in our meat. I will show you. So now you mix in and add a little bit more of olive oil, a little bit more. I would say another three tablespoons, okay? Just a little bit more, right? And just mix it, okay? Um, now we're going to squeeze garlic, okay? Three cloves of garlic, you okay? guys. So let's squeeze in the garlic. A little bit more, another thing. Okay, okay that's great. Now, what we are going to do? Now we are going to use um any any pasta sauce, okay? This is tomato sauce, any pasta sauce you think. I would say here, okay, so here is a 770 ml. So let's use, um, I would say 350, okay? 350, half of this jar, I'm going to put here. Half of the jar. So, now we're going to mix like this, okay? And good for one minute. So release it and I'm going to add parsley. Just um I would say two tablespoons of parsley. And that's it. Great. Now we're turning off. So it's not cooked, it's just a little bit we kind of covered up with the olive oil and maybe it's totally took like uh four minutes. So it's not cooked. So the Carrots still not cooked, the onions still not cooked, the um, parsley is not cooked. It's just kind of like mixed together. So now, uh, this is our meat, okay? Two and a half pounds. So what we're doing, you remember the one carrot which we did not cook at all? So I'm going to put in that carrot. And this mixture, what we did, onion, carrot, and tomato, and a little bit of parsley, right? So you remember how I said it's not cooked, but it will be cooked like um, later on with the meat, okay? So it goes in. But now I'm going to put hers. So we are going to put um, parsley, one teaspoon of parsley. Okay. Uh, we're going to put, you know what I like? Crushed red pepper. So a little bit. I would say half teaspoon of the crushed um, red peppers. Okay. And I'm going to put oregano. So this is our oregano and um, I need to get my basil so oregano I would say okay one teaspoon okay guys so and one teaspoon of basil okay guys one teaspoon of basil so I want to repeat one teaspoon of parsley one teaspoon of basil uh, one teaspoon of oregano and half teaspoon of crushed peppers, red crushed peppers. Um, now, 
what we are going to do, uh, we would need one um, teaspoon of, uh, that's approximately of salt, just a little bit more, one teaspoon of salt, and um, black pepper, one, I would say half teaspoon of black pepper. Great. So that's our herbs. All right. Now we have to. Now you remember that jar, um, 770 ml of uh, tomato pasta. So I'm going to put a little bit more, like two tablespoons of this pasta is, um, um, sauce, pasta sauce inside. Okay. Great. So now what we do. And one cup of rice, guys. One half, one cup of rice. So now we have to mix all this together. And uh, it's going to be, those peppers, they're going to be so juicy. When you add this um, tomato pasta, it's inside. It's, it's going to be inside so juicy, delicious. And those herbs and carrots and, and rice, Everything together will be absolutely amazing. Okay, so we are mixing our meat with the vegetables, parsley, herbs, and rice. So you have to mix really, really well. So see, um, totally like I'm going to use for all my meat, and I'm going to add more. So completely finish up okay so for 12 for two and a half pound um meat uh, for sausages i use like 770 ml of marinara sauce okay so it's all total what it does give to your mixture amazing moisture and flavor unbelievable like it's so tasty so now we're going to do preparation for our peppers so I grabbed like eight peppers, but we will see if I need more, I will get more. We will see how many um, we will use. So what we do, look, I'm going to show how I do it. I cut like this, the top, like I take the small knife. The knife has to be small, okay? Just a little bit, like you cut like, hold it, make sure you don't cut your arm. Okay, just the top. You do like this. Okay. I'm, not get, I'm not throwing them away. I'm going to keep them because um, I'm going to use them. So we are going to clean them up. Okay. And inside. Okay. So that's ready. So I'm going to show what I'm going to do. I got rid of all this inside stuff. Okay. This one I'm going to use it too. So I'm not going to get rid of them. We will need them. Okay. Now, what I do, I take this and I stuff them up, okay? But you have to make sure you mix really, really well. It's because all herbs, uh, parsley, garlic, uh, carrots, all everything infused in this mixture, okay? So we stuff them up. I will show you how much we do like this I put a lot full okay so like this okay great and now this piece I'm going to cut like this okay so what we need we need only the the cover the top we don't need anything else the rest and I'm going to cover like this Okay, so next, same things, guys. We are going to cut off this. Please make sure, you know, when you cut it, make sure you hold it a little, like with your finger. So it's not like, because you're going to, um, you can cut your arm with the one that, just to hold it, okay? Make sure this to hold together like this, okay? And you put it. Same things. 
I like to buy different colors of the peppers because it's more, it's better presentation, that's more beautiful, more colorful, and it's more interesting. Okay. So, ta da! Guys, we made 13 peppers, stuffed peppers. I made a lot. I don't worry that it's a lot because it's it's really tasty, delicious, as I said, and it's a great leftovers. You can freeze, you can make it for a couple of days. It's, it's absolutely delicious. So now, what we are going to do? It's uh, actually, you, you can do half of your portion, but basically it was 12 sausages and I got 13 peppers, right? So it's one sausage for one pepper, basically like that. So, uh, you need for this recipe, you need something like dip, right? And um, kind of, uh, okay, we will see. So what we are going to do now, this is your, um, you can use any, uh, this is uh, tomatoes, okay? Strained tomatoes. Uh, so you can use any, any um, other company, whatever you like. So I'm going to put like, and how many meals? It's 796 meals, okay? Inside, okay, I'm going to put inside, and I'm going to put a little bit of water. Let me just mix it up. Okay. So, a little bit of water here, guys. The cover, I would say, because you might use different pot, so it's kind of halfway for now, okay. Now, I like to use a little bit of salt, with just uh, maybe half teaspoon of salt, a little bit, because I don't think they're not salty, okay? Half teaspoon of salt. Um, a little bit of dried parsley, maybe half teaspoon of parsley, and um, a little bit of basil, half teaspoon of basil, okay? And that's it, right? So now we're going to put them inside. Okay. So let me see which one I'm going to use. So how I'm going to put them? I'm going to put them like this. We would need to add more water, but for now I'm going to show you. So I'm going to put them like that, guys. Different colors. Okay. So they have to stand up like this. I have to stand them up. We are not going to put them in an oven. We are going to boil them. For the oven, I have another recipe. I make them with the uh, cheese and uh, uh, di different recipe. I will sh I will post it next time. So that's um, and the yellow. Let's put yellow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. One more. I think we can squeeze one more. Let's taste this one. This is more skinny. Can go inside. So what you need to do, you have to put them in. So just that they're all tied together. There is no space between them. Because if it would be space, they wouldn't be standing up. They would fall, right? You need to put like this. So see guys? No more water. I want you to look. I wouldn't put more water. So it's not completely covered up, right? But it's um, it's kind of like, I want you to look. Okay? So now we're going to put them on the stove. So guys, now I put it on the stove and on medium high. So what you need to do, you have to bring it to a boil, right? And once it's the water, you will see it's boiling. What you do, you turn off the heat to very like uh, to medium low, like really low, 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 and then you cover. Okay, you cover. And on the low heat, you I, I would tell you exactly how long it took us in the in the end, but it's uh, until it's done, until it's ready. It probably would take um, ninety minutes. Uh, 60 to 90 minutes, but I will tell you exactly how long it took, okay? So this is a fresh parsley. 
I'm going to put on the top. And we have to wait until it's the, the water and the liquid will get to the boil and then we will cover it, okay? So guys, see, it's boiling now, okay? So I'm going to reduce to very low, low heat, okay? And low. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover. And um, let's see, in a 60 minutes, one hour, we will open up, we will try. And if it's not ready, we will continue. Okay? okay guys i want you to see it's cooking it's not time yet but i want you to see so it's on a low heat but it has to still boiling right and it's covered and smells absolutely amazing all those herbs like vegetables it's just delicious okay guys it's ready i want you to have a look how beautiful it is so it took one hour 20 minutes covered on a low heat okay that's how long it took and now we're going to try very shortly guys now it's time to try i want you to have a look how beautiful it is please this pepper I'm going to cut it I want to show you how it's inside very delicious okay. I'm going to try mm. wow it's amazing guys your family will enjoy and keep this recipe and don't lose it and if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and i will see you next time on my cooking shows bye